digging some rods out right now trying to go through something i got an interesting comment the other day that made me want to do this video but i just want to let y'all know this video is sponsored by black rifle coffee use the code welcher 15 get you 15 percent off of black rifle it's cold out right now so a little bit of a little bit of warm coffee can go a long way but dig these rods out got a pretty a little bit different video today that we're going to kind of jump into we're cold out here bundled up about to put the boat in the lake small little local lake but this lake is actually bigger than most of the small little local lakes that i frequent but got an interesting comment the other day and i get a lot of comments based on like what rod and i got a lot of get a lot of dms based on what rod you need to throw for what technique and stuff like that so i just dug out five rods that can get you through an entire year of bass fishing and i mean this is this is like seriously you can fish an entire circuit of like i could probably fish on the bass master lease series with these five rods like i don't really need much more than this yeah when i go certain places i'll need one more kind of specialty rod like pickwick in june i might need a deep cranking rod which is not going to be in the top five because you don't need that every day but for the most part i can get through nine out of ten tournaments with just these five rods so i'm gonna kind of walk y'all through that and one of them's a duplicate so bear with me there but it's a super versatile rod but i mean first things first these rods are going to be preference for me like this rod I'm, I'm gonna grab two of these right here just to show you all the versatility of them because of what i have tied on each one of them these are both seven foot three medium heavy extra fast i like the extra fast just for casting i feel like it casts a little bit better whenever i set the hook it gets to the backbone a little bit faster anything in that 610 7 foot 7 3 anything in between that in a medium heavy fast that's going to be your go-to all-around rod some people that are and i you know a lot of people say i'm a taller guy I like the 7 3 i'm a shorter guy I like the 5 the 6 10 it's kind of just a preference thing you know like there's some tall guys that want a, a 6 9 you know and there's some short guys that want a 7 3 that's just that's just how it is whatever your preference is that's kind of what you're going to want to go with but i have like 12 or 15 of these in the boat at all times but just having two of them can kind of get you through everything that you have to throw you can throw a bladed jig on this you can throw a spinner bait on this you can flip around the little ace jig on this you can throw 50 pound sunline braid and a brand new apex this is actually interesting this jig will be out tonight at seven o'clock p.m that's going to be the global worldwide i'm talking about worldwide <laughs> premiere of the untamed tackle apex swim jig i designed this one had this for a while I'm actually a little bit broken hearted that other people are going to get it because it's been so good to me in recent the last few months but this is just kind of what the seven foot three medium heavy rod is is for yeah if i'm throwing if i'm going in super super heavy cover down in florida maybe i don't want the seven three medium heavy maybe on the seven three heavy or a seven two heavy or a seven four heavy but that's a that's a very specific application wherever i need to deviate but for the most part this rod is going to get it done day in and day out for a wide array of applications flipping a jig like i said if i'm throwing a big worm in brush piles if i'm throwing if i'm flipping a light worm around docks if i'm bed fishing with a smaller like quarter ounce weight and i'm, I'm pitching to it this is the rod i use i mean just a ton of things you can even throw a little bit bigger square bill on this rod and those bigger hooks you can kind of get away with it hunter just made an incredible save on the spinning rod we're going to talk about the wind got up and blew it off the boat and hunter made a hunter made a dive in odell beckham jr catch right there for a second so that was that was pretty impressive the camera should have been turned around that way because she she slid in there grabbed it but the seven foot three medium heavy it's just an all-around rod for me like i said you might want a seven footer and now behind me there's three seven foot three medium heavies right there i didn't want to i don't want to grab too many of them and say that you know you need a thousand of them but if you have two or three of those it could get you through a lot of applications now this is the rod that i want to be fishing with all the time like if i could fish with this rod every single tournament for the rest of my life i'd be happy this is a seven six heavy i use this for a lot of stuff it's seven foot six heavy fast and i use this for everything you can see i got a little flipping bait on there right now with a three eight ounce weight i'll flip up to a five eight ounce weight on this i don't really go much bigger than that but it's not too often you have to flip a weight bigger than five eights you know i do i could throw if i'm throwing a big shaky head offshore on this i could do that a carolina rig i could throw it on this a frog i throw it on this you know there's all kinds of medium sized swim baits like a five inch six inch swim bait on a jig head whatever you want to do you can throw that all on this but this is just kind of your more heavy duty rod you don't have to have a ton of these i mean you may want one for frogging one for flipping but you don't have to have a ton of these you can kind of get away with just having one of these just for all that heavy duty the heavy duty stuff that you have to do it's just one that you have to have at least in my style of fishing 
it's just something that you have to have laid on the front deck because I'm always fishing shallow. I'm always trying to get in the darkest, deepest, thickest, heaviest cover. And a rod like this just helps you get them out. So I always have one of these laid on the front deck or two or three or four or five. But it's just a rod that kind of, it's just kind of the, the meat side of everything. You need that rod for just getting, you know, a couple bigger bites on a couple more like heavy duty techniques. Now, I don't know how you can fish around without having at least one cranking rod. So for this, I'm only going to put one because a lot of times you don't need to have, you know, like I don't need to have a rock crawler and a little John and a fat Papa 55 and a fat Papa 55 square bill. I ain't got to have all that on. If the fish are in four foot deep or five foot deep or six foot deep, I can kind of get all four of those baits in the same thing. Yeah, they do excel in slightly different situations. Like there's some places where I want the rock crawler over the Little John. There's some places where I want the Little John MD. Some places where I want the, little, the regular Little John or the Fat Papa 55, all that type of stuff. There's certain little applications that change why I want to pick one up over the other. But you can just kind of pick one up with it. Let me look on teeth marks on the back of that one. That one's been chewed up. But you can kind of just pick up one of these and kind of do a good enough job to catch some fish and consistently put fish in the boat. So you need to have one cranking rod at least. If you can only have five rods, you need to have at least one cranking rod. So this is just my, if I could only have five rods, which five would I leave in my boat? And that's exactly what this is right here. Now, this rod specifically is the 13 Fish in Fate Black. This is a super light power rod. I shouldn't say super light power, but it's like the perfect power for these smaller little crankbaits and that's what i really like throwing something like little john something like the fat papa 55 or something that's like that 1.5 size square bill that's more the size crankbait that i throw more times than not this this rod is not going to really you know be able to cast a 2.5 size square bills or, or the bigger you know like the the 20 foot diving crankbaits this rod can't really handle that so maybe a like the NV71 is more of a medium power. This is probably a medium light cranking rod. And there's some that's more like a medium power cranking rod. But you still want that moderate action. The medium would probably get you uh, to have the ability to throw a few extra baits. But that's the one that I would have right there. Because I like throwing those smaller baits. And then, unfortunately, you can't live without this one. The upside down rod. The fairy rod. The fairy wand whatever you want to call it the sissy stick people have a lot of names for it and not very many of them are very endearing but point is you just can't live without it we fish for smallmouth a lot and even though that i don't seem to put them in the boat I, I seem to hook them i just don't seem to put them in the boat you still cannot live without this you know the weightless worms shaky heads drop shots all that type of stuff you just have to have it even throw in you know some of your smaller swim baits spy baits all that type of stuff you have to have a spin rod the one that I would pick for all around all the time is the 7.3 medium fast. I like the 7.3. I've been using a 7 footer for, you know, it seems at first I was using a 6.9. I went to 7 foot. I went to 7.3. And I really like the 7.3. It just gives me a little bit more distance. It's a little bit easier to cast. And I feel like whenever I do set the hook on one of those, you know, big fish in Florida throwing a wacky rig or whatever I'm doing, I feel like I have a little bit more control using a 7 foot 3 rod. So I've been kind of bouncing back and forth. I will use a 610 for drop shotting sometimes but the seven foot or the seven three it kind of goes back to like the bait caster whichever one you kind of prefer is going to be the one you have to have but you have to have at least one of these because every once in a while you got to flip a little drop shot to a brush pile and catch you a dang spotted bass but those are the five rods if i can only take five of them with me those are the ones that will stay in my rod locker for all year. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if I left out one of your favorite rods that you could not go fishing without for an entire year. And like I said, yeah, there's certain places in the country where you might need two or three spin rods and only, only two bait casters. So your five might be a little bit different than mine. Or if you're fishing on the Tennessee River in the summer a ton, you might need a deep cranking rod and a couple of those seven six heavies and only, only a couple seven foot threes to really, you know, handle that deep water fishing with a little bit bigger baits but for me these are the five that i would take with me on tour if i had to limit myself to five hope you enjoyed that video i know a lot of people have different preferences on this but i've been getting a lot of comments and a lot of questions asking me you know the details about rods so if i can only have five that's the five i would take so i appreciate you guys watching we'll see y'all